Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 30. And it came to pass, when David and his men were come to Siklag on the third day, that the Amalachim had invaded the Negev and Siklag and smitten Eth Siklag and burned it with fire and had taken Eth the women captives that were therein. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire. And their women and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up at their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two women were taken captives, Achinoam the Yisraelith and Avigail, rather, Avigail, the woman of Naval, the Carmeli. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in Yahuwah Eloheyu. And David said to Aviathar the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray you, bring me hither at the ephod. And Aviathar brought thither the ephod to El David. And David inquired at Yahuwah, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them, and will fail, recover all. Rather, and without fail, recover all. So David went, he and the six hundred men that were with him, and came to the brook Besor, where those that were left behind stayed. But David pursued he and four hundred men, for two hundred abode behind, which were so faint that they could not go over at the brook Besor. And they found a Mitzri in the field, and brought him to El David, and gave him bread, and he did eat, and they made him drink water. And they gave him a piece of a cake, of figs and two clusters of raisins. And when he had eaten, his ruach came again to him, for he had eaten no bread nor drunk any water three days and three nights. And David said unto him, To whom belong you, and whence are you? And he said, I am a young man of Mitzrayim, servant to an Amalekhi. And my master left me, because three days agone I fell sick. We made an invasion upon the south of the Karathim, and upon the coast, which belongs to Yahudah, and upon the south of Kelev, and we burned at Sikhlag with fire. And David said to him, Can you bring me down to this company? And he said, Swear unto me by Elohim that you will neither kill me nor deliver me into the hands of my master, and I will bring you down to this company. And when he had brought him down, behold, they were spread abroad upon all the earth, eating and drinking and dancing because of all the great spoil that they had taken out of the land of the Pelishtim and out of the land of Yahudah. And David smote them from the twilight even unto the evening of the next day. And there escaped not a man of them save four hundred young men which rode upon camels and fled. And David recovered at all that the Amalekim had carried away. And David rescued at his two women. And there was nothing lacking to them, neither small nor great. 
neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil nor anything that they had taken to them. David recovered all. And David took eth all the flocks and the herds which they drove before those other cattle and said, This is David's spoil. And David came to the two hundred men which were so faint that they could not follow David, whom they had made also to abide at the brook Besor. And they went forth to meet David and to meet the people that were with him. And when David came near to Eth the people, he saluted them. Then answered all the wicked men and men of Belayaal, of those that went with David, and said, Because they went not with us, we will not give them aught of the spoil that we have received, rather recovered, save to every man at his woman and at his children, that they may lead them away and depart. Then said David, Ye shall not do so, my brethren, with eth that which Yahuwah has given us, who has preserved us, and delivered eth the company that came against us into our hand. For who will hearken unto you in this matter? But as his part is that goes down to the battle, so shall his part be that tarries by the stuff. They shall be part alike. And it was so from that day forward that he made it a statute and an ordinance for Yashereel unto this day. And when David came to Siklag, he sent of the spoil unto the elders of Yahudah, even to his friends, saying, Behold, a present for you of the spoil of the enemies of Yahuwah, to them which were in Beit El, and to them which were in Ramoth Nerev, and to them which were in Yatir, and to them which were in Aroir, rather Aroer, and to them which were in Sifmoth, and to them which were in Eshtemoa, and to them which were in Rachal, and to them which were in the cities of the Yerach Elim, rather Yerach Me Elim, and to them which were in the cities of the Chenim, and to them which were in Choma, and to them which were in Kor Ashan, and to them which were in Athach, and to them which were in Hebron, and to all the places where David himself and his men were wont to haunt.